Hey everyone, it's your boy Jay Shots here, and today I'm just giving you guys some informational news on the competitive side. So UMG Philadelphia, yes, the competitive tournament land held event, which hosts the best of the best Call of Duty Ghost teams fighting out for each other for the top prize of $10,000 for the team, $4,000 for second place, $3,000 for third place, $2,000 for fourth place, and $1,000 for fifth place. So... This was a great tournament. I watched it through it all. Um, I really want to mention something though to Call of Duty, uh, Activision. Their game was kind of broken. Um, the streaming system was horrible compared to Black Ops 2. I love uh, Caster Mode and Black Ops 2, and, and here it seemed very, very weak. Um, that's just my personal opinion. And during the Twitch live stream, uh, your c a camera angles always got cut out for some reason. I don't know this. It's a very broken game from what I see, what I seen it from my point of view, and it's kind of uh, disappointing, especially from Activision, because Activision said that they're gonna take competitive to the next level. Um, I have a feeling you just just drop back. Um, I don't really see any competitive fire into this game anymore. Into Call of Duty, ever since Black Ops Two, Black Ops Two definitely competitive was embraced a lot, but. Uh, before I start rambling on, uh, let's talk about the results and what happened. So, from 13th to 16th place, it was Fuse Gaming, Adversity, Curse New York, and Denial Esports. From 9th to 12th place is Team Batty, Team Justice, Team Envious, and Optic Gaming. Yes, Optic Gaming got knocked off in the losers bracket, in the championship bracket during the first round to face competitive, and they ended up losing in the loser bracket and they finished from 9 to 12 and claimed with no money um this is optic big timers last tournament i was rooting for optic of course and kind of disappointed to see how they've been playing recently but let's hope that in the future that they can get some more consistent placings now for seven to eighth place placings were elevate and phase competitive um, phase competitive being a big name in there, uh, they just couldn't hold it out, and there are a lot of great other teams there that came from the open bracket and ended up knocking them into the losers bracket. And from the losers bracket, they fell down. And in sixth place, Juke Gaming. Uh, Juke Gaming, I haven't heard about so far. I haven't seen any of their matches. I'm not too sure if they're streamed. But congratulations to Juke Gaming. So now from fifth to fourth place was E Game Slayer and Strictly Business. Um, E Game Slayer. E Girl Slayers are doing really, really well, um, and Strictly Business, um, they pulled off a surprise. Uh, a lot of great players on that team, and definitely, I have a feeling that they're gonna make an impact in the near future. But now, from third to second place, so in the th game was Team Calibre versus Curse Leverage. Team Calibre in the best of five series ended up sweeping Curse Leverage. In Optic Domination, Fright, Search and Destroy, and Warhawk Blitz. And they ended up doing really, really well. So now in the final game, Team Calibre versus Complexity. Clayster on Team Calibre. He wants revenge versus Complexity for dropping him down. And the new Complexity pickup, Karma. Karma, I have no idea. He went off. I can't lie. Karma went off. It was amazing to see him pull off the sniping shots. I feel like that he definitely deserved that MOG, UMG player of the tournament. And he did really, really well. He was the MVP, obviously. And the winners of that best of five series was Complexity. TK ended up winning the first domination in Strike Zone. Complexity ended up winning all three others, such as... The Sovereign SND, Fright Blitz, and Octane Domination. So, congratulations to Complexity for winning. Um, their success is continuing. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video here. If you guys do, it means a lot to me if you drop that like button below. And my social networking are in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. And I hope you all enjoy your day here. JShot's flying out. Peace. Enjoy your day, guys.